G'day, so I just want to give a bit of an update on uh, some exciting things that are happening in relation to being able to repair the Karma uh, to date. It's been out of the skill set of a lot of people um, because they couldn't solder or, you know, things along those lines. Uh, big shout out to Josh, who's seen the work that we've been doing. He's joined our team, he's been repairing Karmas for people. He's actually an electronics engineer. He took what we were doing and designed a board to not only replace those bits of hardware that we were buying and building, um, but also remove some of the complexity around having to apply power to that SD card. So, you know, previously we'd have something like this. This is a prototype I built ages ago, which is my SD card board um, with a ribbon cable, which I would plug in. Um, I would then also, you know, connect my serial to TTL device and then plug that into my computer. I'd then have to, you know, um, take the can off and then probe it by powering the unit on. If there are any issues with the card that I created or any of the wiring here, um, people often got, you know, um, just that blank screen in putty and it was never 100% clear what the problem is, but often it was to do, you know, with the wiring in here. Um, or not applying power correctly or anything like that. So Josh's board, um, he's designed it from the ground up. It's a real quality board. Um, I think it's at a very reasonable price. Um, at the moment, it's only shipping in the US, but we're looking to see what we can do to get it international as well. Um, it's basically the circuitry includes um, a CTL. Um, he's designed the circuitry around that. Uses an off-the-shelf chip. Um, as well as, you know, there's a SD slot on there for the uh, SD card and the, it also includes a ribbon cable, the probe. Um, it comes in a 3D printed enclosure, so it looks really cool. It's a single unit. And the cool thing about the 3D enclosure is it basically has um, a little clip so it can sit over the arm so it's not floating around anywhere. It's not going to get damaged or anything like that. So... The change is you go from having to build all this and buy all this to just buying the single unit. Um, you don't have to mess around soldering with his um, device. All you need to do is take the cover off, which is six screws, two under the battery, one under each arm. You then just need to take the can off. Um, that just pops off a little screwdriver. You then, with his device, you disconnect uh, the cable for the arm plug his in, uh, his includes um, the little JST, I think it's a 1.2 uh, pitch, you plug that in um, and you basically load up putty on your computer um, and you're ready to you know, probe at that TP1. You do need to remove a little bit of that um, underfill off TP1, like you always had to, but there's no longer a requirement to do soldering. So you know, this is now within the reach of a lot more people. I'll drop some links in the video description. They'll be for things like the page where you can go and register that you would like to obtain one of these devices, the user manual for the device. There's also a video on it. Um, Josh is really good in that regard. He will always do a user manual that backs up that video because some people like to have a user manual, some people like a video. As always, thanks for watching.